Did friends and family try to intervene at all, especially near the end? I don't think so. Why not? To be honest, when I got there, the day the incident happened, there was no friends were there. I was really surprised. It was just me and Melanie and Melanie families, you know, a few people. But people, I used to see him every day in his house on his FaceTime. Nobody was there. That's why it's kind of concerning me what happened. What was going on the day before? Like, we need to find out. I mean, not me, but the police will find out. But there is something just... What do you think happened? I personally think he was on medication and, and he fell asleep in a bathtub and that's what happened. That's what I personally think, but we don't know until we find out the real, you know. And you said you saw aerosol cans in the bathroom, correct? Yeah. So there could have been that going on also? Yes. When was the last time you spoke to Aaron? Well, we've been messaging on Instagram and text message like days before. But last time he FaceTimed me from Santa Monica, he's, he was at the dental's office. So he said, come down here, I'm doing a root canal. And it's, it's very painful. Um, I want you to hold my hand. I said, I can't do it. And I had some plans, you know, I had to go to work. I said, I'll come see you tomorrow. And, and I couldn't go see him because I think he was traveling after that. He's doing some kind of touring, small concerts in different states. There had been concern where fans had been reaching out saying, hey, stop him from doing these drugs and stop him from doing the huffing. Had you seen that? Yes, of course. And did you ask him about that? Yes, we had a conversation together and he said, what do you want me to do? I said, can we please check you into rehab? You do have the assurance, Melanie told me, we can get you to the rehab. And he said, is that what you want me to do? I said, well, I want you to do it for you than for me, because I don't want to see you like this. He goes, okay, I'll do it. Just give me a week and I'll do it. Give me two weeks and I'll do it. And it, it never happened. Why don't you think he wanted to go to rehab? Because I think the mental illness he has and the addiction he had, I think was controlling his life. But Aaron also was a very lonely person in his mind, you know. He had friends, he had family, but I think he's a type of a guy, he wants to be surrounded with family, blood-related family. He loved his son, you know, he loved kids. And in a point he said, can you be the godfather of my son? I said, of course I will be the godfather. But I think he was giving too much, but he was very lonely in his own mind. He wanted to be hugged, he wanted to be loved, but one person can't give all that, you know? I think he need, we needed more people there, but just people not there, they were not there. I think they gave up on him. Do you think his family gave up on him? I think they give up on him and with all the respect to his family and I saw the video yesterday, his brother Nick was crying. Of course it's emotionally, his blood, his brother. Of course he's hurting a lot, but I don't think he should have ever give up on Aaron, knowing his brother has a mental illness. And I don't think anyone ever should give up on someone who has mental illness because this would happen to people. You know, they don't think the way we think. They're different. They're not different, but their mind is different. So we need to love and support and never give up on them. End of the day, was this his way of ending it all, do you think? Or do you think it was just a tragic accident? I think it's a tragic accident because he loved life. He had so many plans, even though he had mental issues or addiction, but he loved life. I don't think and I don't want to believe he end up his life. I think it was a tragic accident. Is he finally at peace now? And if you could say one last thing to him, what would you say? I just want to tell him I love you. And I will always be by his son's side. I will always do my best for him to give him the most beautiful childhood. And I will always support and love and care his son and his family. And I think he will be very happy to knowing that I'm going to be his son big brother or hopefully I can be the godfather so I can, you know, be more deep in and help be, make sure he's good. But I will do all my best 
to support his son. I think that's the only thing he left in this world. It was his beautiful son. And I will do everything for him in this world to make him happy in heaven. <laughs>